I mean, there's records here dating back from the 1700s, I'd imagine. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done my, my research. But when it comes to the... the <laughs> they have recorded music and It's sheet music. I'm living in the world, jumping over my when it comes to like the, the New Year side of music, like well, what, are you, what are you into? Sure. Um, a lot of stuff. I'm into kind of... I'm into sort of like all of that kind of like conscientious, discerning R&B, hip hop, like I really like No Name, Anderson I love Pac. No Name. Oh, it's so Amazing, sick. Yeah. yeah. I just got into this artist named Tierra Whack, which I'm sure I'm late to the party, but she has a song called um, Wasteland that I was like, whoa, that's really sick. Do you, do you do much like jamming? Like when you when you go to, are you like a are you solo writer, or are you, are you somebody who likes to sort of like get other people in the room to sort of collaborate? And sure, a bit of both. It depends on the song, really. Like, it's funny because on in the past I've always written kind of by myself, like in my room, tucked away. But for this next record, I really wanted to like kick up the tempo, so. Um, I definitely started a lot of songs, just like a group of people jamming and then kind of chop it up and, and write the song from there. So I'm kind of going in that direction, I guess. Every night away. I mean, the big question is, yes, sir. the new record is coming in June. Yeah. How are you feeling? It's sitting there at the precipice. Obviously, it's all recorded. Yeah. I'm sure all the artwork and everything is all done with it. How, how yeah. do you feel about it? I'm excited, you know. It's 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 going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting kind of release process, I think, because um, it's quite different than than what I've done in the past. But at the same time, I think in a lot of ways, it's it's very much the same thing I've done in the past. I've always kind of had this idea, or notion, artistically that I want to sort of incorporate sounds of, of of the past and of of kind of the history of music and kind of modernize them in a way. Um, so it's still kind of what I'm doing, but it, it does sound different. Um, but I'm excited for it. I, I think people, I hope people will like it, and we'll see. It, is it like, a, is it a, a modern take on retro music? Would you say? A little bit, yeah. yeah. I think it is kind of like a modern take on, on sort of yeah retro soul music. Mm -hmm. um, sort of like st structurally, the songs are quite um, old sounding, but production wise, the um, sounds quite current. Shooting I think. some lasers over the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> weirder right because like you're coming into this now with like a, a, an engaged big fan base yeah so like when you're writing your first record you're writing it for yourself yeah but now you've got people that are almost relying on you for like a good time yeah. like to, to listen to their music sure. does that permeate true totally I mean it's always kind of in your subconscious um, but like we we're kind of talking about earlier I just think like it's important to make music for yourself mm. and kind of to like figure out your vision and see it through and hopefully, um, you know, your fan base will, will follow you. I'm sure you've got like all sorts of fans that you've met all around the world. Sure. But one of the oddest that I heard of is the sheriff from Twin Peaks. The sort of like really, the really famous like 1980s uh, TV show yeah. made by David Lynch, yeah. which was rebooted I think a couple of years ago for yeah. a third season. What the hell? I don't know, it's crazy, like, I think he found out about my music through, like, these Lana Del Rey support gigs I did. And he just kind of, like, started reaching out online, and we developed this almost, like, pen pal type relationship, but... That's so Twin Peaks as well, having a pen pal relationship with It's very weird. And then I met him, it's, um, I... I was in L. Well, I made the record in L.A., so when the mm. new season of Twin Peaks came out, I was in L.A., mm. and he, he messaged me, and he was like, hey, we're having, like, this party for the premiere at my friend's house come on by and yeah. I was like oh absolutely definitely <laughs> yeah I mean so I went and I met him and it was like all these like sort of like older like Warhol factory kind of characters that yeah. that were all friends from back in the day in New York and they were just telling all these stories about basically like that era and I was just like this is insane. You're like, I, the, like this is so not what 2000 and like tens is all about. Like, I know. Do you know what I mean? Totally. <laughs> and it was just, it was wild, but it was a really interesting experience. And so, yeah, he's great. So if David Lynch reaches out to you and he's like, well, I, I, I want to make you a music video, you're like, 
Okay. <laughs> I would say, what? Anything. I'll do anything. <laughs>